What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, if you're not already following us on Instagram and Facebook, check us out. Follow us at Rejuvenator. Uh, we do do daily giveaways and we have promo codes that vary. So be sure you're following us on all the accounts. Today, we're going to do an application of the Soul Shields to a pair of shatter backboards that we picked up. For best results, we do recommend the shoes to be dead stock condition. You can apply them to worn sneakers, but you wanna make sure that they're thoroughly clean before you do any of the application. So when you purchase the sole shields, uh, what comes in there is a pair of sole shields, one for each shoe, and then four traction pads and the alcohol swabs to clean whatever residue, oils, are on the bottom of the shoe. So the sole shields have two different sides. One's gonna be a glossy side, and the other's gonna be a matte side. Um, you're gonna wanna put the, sh the shiny side down, and you're gonna trace the shoe on the matte side. These are size 11, the sole shields go up to, uh, I, I believe they work with a, a size 14. So what, what I recommend is when tracing the shoe, leave a little bit extra um, just so you can go over the front of the shoe, the side of the shoe. Um, you can always trim it with an X-Acto knife. Just gives you a basic outline of how you're gonna cut it out. The first step, after it's traced, take your shoe, and like I said, with the alcohol pad, just go over the bottom of the shoe. It's gonna allow the material on the sole shield to adhere to the shoe properly. Next step, peel back the backing. and then position it over the shoe, like so. Now this doesn't mean that it's applied yet, we need to use the heat gun to apply it, but it's in place on the shoe. Next, with a heat gun or a hair dryer, heat gun is preferred. Start beginning to apply heat, working in the sole shield, working out the air bubbles from the middle, going out. Basic application is complete. So what you'll wanna do is you want to put the sole shields in every, essentially, crevice of the shoe. If you don't do that, um, it's gonna leave an air pocket and if a rock gets in there or if you step on a stone or something, um, it's gonna penetrate that and it's gonna rip. So you wanna make sure that you get out all the air pockets. All right, now that the sole shield is installed, uh, we simply need to put on the traction pad. Two come per shoe. You can cut it out, put it wherever you like. I typically, on this model one, I leave it full in the back and put it lengthwise. You can either trim the edges to this and put it right in the middle or cut it in half, put it lengthwise, however. I'm just gonna leave both of them as is for maximum traction and put them on the shoe. Same thing, peel this off. Just like that, sole shield with the traction pad, installed, shatter backboard. All products can be purchased online at the website, www.rejuvenator.com.